Hi everyone and welcome to another session. Today I have more contents for you specifically on Interactive Broker and Robinhood. So over the course of several months, I have been building Python scripts that I can connect to my portfolio across these brokerage accounts and pull information such as my holdings, uh, my gains, losses, and, and my concentration across sectors industry, et cetera. And I wanted to see holistically in a consolidated view how I am doing. Uh, so that's why I you know, wrote these scripts. And I think they are at the stage that are ready to be shared and be used with others. I plan to add a Charles Schwab section to this repository, but I think at this point it is at a good enough ready stage to be shared. Um, and once I do that, I add it to the repository. So essentially, I have four Python modules, a general function, a portfolio analytics, the interactive broker, and a Robinhood. In this section, in the Robinhood, we are going to pull all the information that we need uh, from Robinhood account. In this one, we do the same, but across interactive brokers. The general function is all the, uh, I have all the functions that are necessarily needed to be used across any module. So this module is used across Robinhood as well as Interactive Broker. And uh, here we have the portfolio analytics where I actually call some, some functions from general functions module and, and produce this output. So it's going to be my past seven days PNL, the portfolio value, the net trade, the way you would run the code is exactly the same way as if you had only Robinhood or if you had both of them and you wanted to combine them, which is going to be, which is going to be my case. So if you have a Robinhood user, you only need your username and password to be passed to the script. It's very straightforward. Robinhood has a great uh, Python API. However, if it's interactive broker, this is a bit uh, cumbersome or it is a bit uh, complicated. Uh, you need to have a pro version, not a light version. Once you sign up for a pro version, open account, have a, have a pro version, you would come here and follow this instruction to set up client portal web API uh, or client portal API gateway. You download a zip file, uh, you uh, launch your uh, command prompt, run some script, and then you would be able to open this localhost 5000, essentially. So you would put your username, your password, you log in here, then you would get a, a notification on your account, on your uh, phone or your primary device. You approve it, and then you finally get login succeed. So essentially you log in, through the API uh, this way. And then uh, the code is able to actually connect your portfolio, pull this information. That's how it works. There's also another piece in between that you need to go and get some CSV file and I'm gonna walk you through it. So if you are an interactive users, once interactive worker users, once you do that, do that stuff, you're connected, you would go to your account, you go to portfolio analyst module, you would go to reports and you would select custom report. You would want to select these fields and make sure the report is the time period of the report is since inception, select the daily frequency detailed and run it. It produces a CSV file, place the CSV file in the portfolio analytics module repository uh, directory, wherever you're going to run the report. Uh, you're going to place that CSV over there. So essentially you want to download these fi Python files, download that CSV, uh, and you're good to go pretty much. So let me show you how it works. Uh, these are the libraries that you're going to input. Here I am asking, the, not me, but the code is asking for the CSV filing that you downloaded from Interactive Broker, your Interactive Broker account number, your Robinhood username, and your Robinhood password. But again, if you're a Robinhood user only, if you want that, only that section, don't worry about these two, these are from Interactive Worker. Just put your username and password in the My Portfolio function from the Robinhood module, as well as trade history in the Robinhood module. Pass your username and password, it's gonna run. Take may take about two, three minutes, depends how heavy your portfolio is, and you are going to get the information that you need. If you're an interactive worker user, 
you get you put that CSV file name here, your Robinhood account, uh, sorry, your Interactive Worker account number, to get your portfolio holdings, and to get your trade trade history, you do the same again. So you get the CSV, put the CSV file name in here and the Interactive Broker account number. Once you do that, you can call Portfolio Analytics. This is coming from the general function because I import it uh, as it is. So from general function, import a star. And if you want to consolidate it, both of them, so if you have an Interactive Broker and you have a Robinhood, which is kind of like my case, you run them individually and you pass them to the portfolio consolidator, consolidator, which is in the general function module. You pass those four dictionaries here, then you actually create a new separate dictionary from the consolidated results and you would get this information. So let me give you a quick walkthrough what it is. By the way, all this information you see on this section uh, in the portfolio analytics, they all are accessible from these two dictionary. This is how, this one has your trading information. This one has your portfolio holdings. So let's say you can just say portfolio keys. You can see what I what you have. So you have your current holdings, your open orders, and your portfolio history. All this information that you see are accessible uh, through either of these dictionaries. So you can just play around and find out where it is. Here you have your past uh, seven days, market value, adjusted, p &L, and return. Uh, I anonymize my portfolio data. That's why it may look weird and uh, look funny, but again, that purpose is not to show the portfolio, my holdings, but also it's to how to utilize the code. Here you get the time series of adjusted value of your portfolio. This is exactly what you would see on your Robinhood when you open the app. Uh, this is the inflow outflow chart. This is not the PL. This is how much you sold and how much you bought in a given month in the market. So this is an illustration whether you are a net buyer or a net seller in a market in a given month and kind of monitor your trading activity at a high level. Now, of course, you can go at a lower level, see at the individual uh, ticker or uh, individual symbol, what you've been doing. Uh, this is your holding summary across sectors. So let's say, for instance, across financials, uh, what is your, uh, what percentage it is? Uh, what is your equity? What, how much you put up initially in there? What's your equity change? Again, these numbers look funny because they've been scaled and randomized. So um, they don't mean anything, but this is how essentially uh, your portfolio turns out to be. Um, here are the long short across sector combined from each individual names. So you can see, okay, this, for instance, in financial services, this ticker FOQ, which again is hypothetical, these are just all random, um, you know, makes up $100, then it's 35, then 26, etc., And then the total gives you four, 420. So if you sum up this column, that's your total holding across that uh, sector. You get the same chart across industry. So you can, you break it by sector, you break it by industry. The purpose of these two charts essentially is to see how concentrated or non-concentrated uh, your portfolio is across sectors or industry. So uh, clearly I am, or in this hypothetical scenario, uh, I'm underrated or uh, I'm more concentrated on financial services, industrial, consumer cyclical, and less concentrated in healthcare, real estate, consumer defensive, etc. This is uh, the pie chart across uh, sectors. Uh, the this is very similar to what we have here. However, the shortcoming of pie chart is doesn't show the negative value. So this is long and short. If you have short short positions, this would be on negative side on the bottom side of the chart. Uh, but this is only long. This is long only. Uh, and then one thing that I like about Plotly is, for instance, on industrials, you can just click there and then you can see, okay, holistically what holdings you have. And then if you hover over, you get more information. So the SAL symbol, you know, it's in the, in, it's in the industry, uh, industrial industry. And, uh, you know, this is rank number three. So it's the third of your, all of the present is if you sort your portfolio from highest to lowest holding, this is your, this is number three. What percentage uh, 
change has been since you purchased it and what equity change there has been, whether gain or loss. And then you can just click there and just get out of it and go to the next uh, pie chart, etc. This is essentially the same pie chart, but broken by industry as opposed to sectors. Again, so we have more, I think we have about 13 sectors in S&P. I don't know how many distinct industry there is, uh, classification, if you would say, but as many as the Yahoo Finance does have, uh, that correspond to your portfolio holdings, they will be here. And this is not broken by industry or sectors, but just solely your single holdings uh, across your whole portfolio, across whether in Robinhood, Interactive Worker, or Combine, however you run it. So this one is going to the parity distribution of your holding. The blue chart represent individual percentages. The red chart uh, represent the cumulative percentages. So let's say if we get to... 60 the top 60 holdings of my portfolio or not my portfolio in this case in this porf in this hypothetical example make up 80 percent of the total portfolio and if you keep going keep going then you will see start seeing your short positions so there are three short positions here if you would see and then here in this chart in this table you see the individual holdings uh from sorted from highest to lowest. This is the equity that you have, the portfolio value, essentially the market value for that holdings, the how much you paid initially for that, the equity change, whether it's gain or loss, percent change, again, gain or loss. This is the percentage of total value. This is the cumulative percentages. So this is almost 6% of your holdings. This is another close to 3.7%. So total 5.87 plus 363 come up to 9.50, et cetera. And the rest of the information that you see here, like the enterprise value to EBIT, firm to EBIT, PE, forward to PE, price to book, price to book ratio, enterprise value, et cetera, they are all are coming from Yahoo Finance. So that general function modules are going to take your holdings, whether from Robinhood or Interactive Worker or Combine, and then goes through Yahoo Finance, collect the information on those holdings, put them together, and then this is the output that you would get. With that said, I hope you found this session useful. I thank you very much for listening. I hope you found this, uh, you know, analytics and codes uh, helpful for you to over uh, to monitor your portfolio. And uh, feel free to download, make mod any modification. The link to this GitHub is going to be in the description of this video. And uh, I see you in the next one. Thanks very much.